All right, so I really wanted to make this video and apparently this is a sexy tier list and not an actual tier list on their character. And I'm gonna turn it into an actual tier list on their character, so let's like go. 6, people voted so, to Princess Leia, I think, is a easy S tier. Besides kissing her brother, she did help take down the Empire. Uh, her whole plot was pretty significant when her whole planet was blown up. And that, overall, I think she's just a great character. Like when uh, Luke and Han were in the jam, she put on a bounty hunter disguise, went to the Jabba's palace. Definitely um, a well diverse character. So easy S tier for me. And your first pick is They're going to talk about how they will fuck her. Don't disrespect the well. legend. She was one of the first sci fi waifus. Strictly speaking, every human in Star Wars is also an alien because Earth isn't even in their galaxy. So we can rank them too. I guess it does put the actual aliens in perspective. Is this Slave Leia? Whatever look you want for anyone on this list. R.I.P. Carrie Fisher. I hope she's in a better place with tons of space cocaine. She was quite a looker. Damn, R.I.P. Definitely pretty sexy. I think she's up there. Maybe not S tier. I don't know. How, how do you, ain't that a little weird to talk about how dead people were sexy back in the day? That's a little weird. I don't know. Firm believer in age Maybe not. Maybe, maybe it's just strategy. weird to me. Amazing tier names, know. Barack. This should be the standard for all the waifu lists moving forward. That's a good standard. Joe spends most of his time looking at the forsaken tier. At least I'm not in the forsaken tier. That's because you're on the cover. Frank Leia, assholes. Damn. Respectful yet realistic. I'm going to pour millions of taxpayer dollars into genetically engineering real life rancors and place a trap door in your house with one in there if you don't put her in S tier. I think overall, when it comes to like sex appeal uh, or attractiveness in general, I think uh, Princess Leia is definitely the easy S tier for that as well. You literally say respectful and then I like strong women. Her. She, you, like I said, went to the Jabba's Palace. I'm going to break the tie here and. What's up, you dick twisters? You toward the unholy. Uh, the I'm said you're the prom old seller. I see why this video is 30 minutes long. Out of anyone, unless it's about the tier list. Next is Mon Mothma. Mon was pretty sexy. Mon Mothma. Her appearance, she was also quite hot. Gawking at her was. I actually don't remember this character very well, honestly. It. I'm a big um, a prequel guy, so. That might be the reason, but I just I, uh, the name is ringing bells, but the character just is not. Was the only good. I don't I don't have any opinion on this character unless they say something that she's done, and I can be like, oh, she's the one that did that. Part about that show. Your takes are actually. Wait, what show? Was also quite hot. Gawking at her. Mon was pretty sexy back then. In her Andor appearance, she was also. Quite Andor. Hot. Gawking at her was the only good part about that show. Your takes are actually impressive. What Nobody show? Has ever dared to be this stupid? I think you <laughs> set a record. Eat dicks, Donald. I'm not so sure she belongs in S tier with my queen. Uh, uh, have to agree with that. Do we all like A tier for Mon? Yeah, sure. I'd like to poke her, Mon. Okay, now. Now Jesus we have an Christ. actual alien. Ooh la the Twi'lek. Ooh la la. What the f- the list. I Okay, um... <laughs> slaver. I don't remember if she did anything besides talk to Jabba in the story. I mean, she's a Twi'lek. Like, literally 90% of the Twi'leks are gonna go to attractive or sexy tier. And the other ones that aren't, it's because they're male. <laughs> Those three were pretty easy. Now we actually have to test ourselves. What do we think about Sai Snoodles? What in God's name is she doing on this? Oh, series? God. Okay. So, uh, Snoodles, I think her character is kind of cool how she uh, fell in love with a gangster and then turned her back on him um, because she knew he was a, a rat bastard. So I respect that. A strong woman um, and her right. A singer, entertainer. She was loyal to a uh, homeboy, but you know she found around. Found out he was fucking around, and she played the game. I, so I think for that personally, I'd probably give her more like a A tier because I mean that's different. How many women do you know that would literally just stay in that like abusive relationship? A lot. Not many would try and play the game. So I, I respect her for that, um, especially because it's fiction. Like real life, playing the game, that shit can get deadly, but. In the in the show, that's fine. A tier. Um, when it comes to sex appeal, not my type personally. Uh, I would be like a like a D tier. Like maybe if I was really fucked up, maybe she could seduce me. Maybe, but I don't know. Wait, I'm be looking at the lips. Let him spit. Sai Snoodles is obviously not attractive. But look what she's working with. Excuse me, Barack. If I was a great dragon, I would. Nobody here is looking for hair tender. Um, who? Who? Jedi Master, pretty hot, not the most. Oh, she helped uh, Obi Wan when um 
A fucking Darth Maul and Savage Opress showed up in the Clone Wars series. I she's I mean, she's honestly, when it comes to Jedi Master, she's pretty meh. She doesn't do anything really outstanding um, from what I can remember. All she does is help Obi-Wan in a, in a 2v2. That's it. And I don't even think she lived through that fight. I can't remember. Maybe she did. Maybe she didn't. Whatever. But that lets me know that she's not that amazing or a standout character. Uh, maybe I got to rewatch that. Uh, well, it was probably like three episodes of uh, Obi-Wan and uh, her teaming up. Um, so maybe I have to rewatch that at l- that little group of episodes and then I could come back to like an actual solid opinion. But right now, my opinion on her is not that high. I would say honestly c tier average average jedi master fucking does the right thing whatever helps obi-wan but that's about it and i think she got injured in the fight or was it obi-wan i don't remember but um she's okay uh sex appeal wise i mean she's just a, a you know strong black woman uh i guess sex appeal b tier i mean i guess i'm sorry. not really like High C tier, low B tier. I mean, average. Like I said, average. It is an average character. Average character. Not nearly as hot as any other races. Them shits don't even look like tentacles. This is like a hat. Looking at eyes, but chew. I will agree. She is slept on. She does have nice lips. Like that actress is actually beautiful. Almost with you, but not quite as. But I'm thinking about the cartoon character as well. It's because she didn't get a lot of screen time. But she helped Obi Wan. And Savage oppressed the shit out of her. Yeah, that's good. Okay, so Savage did kill her. Yaddle. What? Hell yeah. I've uh, Jedi Master Yaddle. I don't remember her doing anything. I see this as Clone Wars, but I don't remember her being in it more than like saying a couple lines and then that's it. Uh, Cap. Yeah, Joe. I mean, I don't know what she does. I'm not that familiar with her if she did anything in Legends, so I can't really form an opinion. Um, I'm going to fast forward. I mean, when it comes to like sex appeal, like this literally Yoda with a wig on, so no. <laughs> Padme. Natalie Portman. Padme Amidala is another S tier up there with Princess Leia when it comes to her character. Um, she did have to get rescued a couple times, but she has saved the day many times and she's gone out of her way to try and do the right thing. Uh, the only thing I would say is a really, really big red flag and flaw that makes me not want to put her in S tier but she's done so much to actually deserve it is falling in love with the little boy you met uh, years later. That is fucking weird, dude. If I met some little girl and she's six years old and she likes me and I don't like her because she's obviously six years old. And then now I'm fucking 30. Well, back then she was like probably like more like 14 or 16 or something like that. And now she's like in her 20s. And Anakin is just like 18, 19 or something like that. What, whatever I'm 25 now so if I met like a 16 year old and now I'm fucking like 30 uh, 39 and now that that kid is now grown up and she's like oh you remember me I'll be like no and then she's like well you looked after me whatever I thought you were handsome and I'll be like oh okay thanks and she's just like yeah you want to date I'll be like no <laughs> no I don't want to <laughs> she was underage plus I just don't like young kids <laughs> Oops. Like young girls, not young kids. Well, I don't like. I mean, shut the fuck up. <laughs> yeah, A tier. I, look, high A tier. Now that I hear it coming out of somebody's mouth, high A tier. I do want to give her S tier because she has literally saved the day, stopped that Nazi like alien from like destroying a whole planet um, with his poison. But she does get rescued a lot, man. Uh, this is crazy. It's like S-tier, but high A. Lower uh, for sure high A tier, low S tier. Wow, and attractiveness. Um, and attractiveness? Hey, a tier. He ain't nothing special. Under Leia. He ain't nothing amazing. You ain't nothing special. But above that. Above average, and you have like the royalty status, and you're a diplomat. So that literally adds to it. Her so. politics got in the way for me. Fucking space AOC. I guess old Bill knows a thing or two, huh? Uh, Bill Clinton. Clinton. Next is the famous bug slinging bounty hunter Zam Wessel. I love Zam. Um, I think she was a great partner for Django. Uh, she is a uh, what is it like? Uh, she she transforms her her body and her face, and I think her voice too. 
But Zam and Django's uh, relationship was, I, I would say, like pretty close to something like a Batman and Talia Al Ghul, something like that, except not as serious um, as Batman and Talia. But it's it's giving it's giving that type of energy. The whole mysterious guy meets a mysterious girl and they fight each other. But then the girl's like, hey, you're kind of attractive. And she's trying to work the moves on Django. And Django's just like, I'm about business, honey. And, you know, eventually through their missions together, he has some type of bond with her. He cares for her, cares for her a bit. And even when he finds out that she's a shapeshifter, you know, he still is like, OK, whatever. We're still kind of close. Obviously not close enough since he's the one that killed her, but strictly business. It was all professional. So Zam, I want to say, gives a Zam. <sighs> Because of Star Wars Bounty Hunter, I think a low A tier. Because of Star Wars Bounty Hunter. But she was about to wrap my boy Django out when she had the lightsaber up to her. So, I don't know. She was going to ride on homie. So, she wasn't really ride or die, apparently. Uh, yeah, she wasn't ride or die. So, we're going to give her a high B tier. Um, attractiveness. She can morph into whatever you want, I guess. Um, so, hey, that's... Uh, What's it called? Uh, maneuverability. I don't know what it's called. You, I don't know. S tier for for that for attractiveness because she can change into whatever. Oh, she a baddie. Although she could transform into anybody, it yep. seems like an S tier ability. That is. I feel I must point out that it wasn't perfect, and her natural form is that of an ogre. That's Damn, fine. That's fine. That's fine. She just doesn't have to use her natural form. It's like the same thing with Lady Tsunade from Naruto. Lady Tsunade got these. What, what did Jiraiya say? Whatever Jiraiya said, those super huge watermelons, beautiful blonde hair, skin super smooth, right? Medical ninjutsu, strong as fuck, um, position of power. And then when she loses all her chakra, she looks like a shriveled up old prune. But you would still bang her. So, S tier. Think she's for good at Kaminoan Tanway. Dear God. A Kaminoan dude. I, you can't trust these things as much as you can throw them. Attracting this gal, a straight D. This is a little pencil neck alien thing. And when it comes down to loyalty, you can't trust these things for shit. Just overall, just a terrible, terrible, terrible thing. So we're gonna give it a D tier. We're gonna give it an F tier. We're gonna give it whatever the fuck bottom of the trash can tier for the Kaminoans. Ooh. Oh. On die on this hill? What's hearing? What about the one with the neck? Try not to be. Oh, Shakti. Jedi Tegruta. Yeah. Wait, what? Shakti. Oh, I'm about to say. <laughs> uh, to, so she's a Tegruta. Okay. So Shakti, I love Shakti. I love how we kill her in every Star Wars game. We kill her in Force Unleashed. We kill her in different Force Unleashes. Actually, we kill her in Lego Star Wars. Like Shakti dies so many ways, and she was so close to figuring out. Order 66, like so close, was right there and just fucking missed it, man. Fucking missed it. But Shakti, I think, is an amazing Jedi. So caring. She was willing to listen to, uh, was it Stormtrooper Tup or Clone Trooper Tup? Was it Tup, I believe? He was the one going crazy. I can't remember. Um, but she was so close to figuring out the truth, man. And she wanted to do the right thing. And she thought the right thing was going to the uh, going to Senator Palpatine. Oh, fuck, man. So close. I think Shakti as a character is dope. Um, but honestly, she really doesn't do anything outstanding. The one thing that she does that's really significant to the story. And since it's a prequel, she can't really do anything. Uh, I'd say she's I want to give her an A tier, but let's be real. I mean, she's just Jedi uh, B high b tier i want to put her with zam like high b tier they're fine and attractiveness she looks like every other uh what are they garudas every other female garuda is shock t um they don't really have that much of a difference in their appearances i believe if i'm being racist let me know but yeah i'm gonna go ahead and say b uh a tier and attractiveness a tier low a tier nothing special but still an attractive species um Low A tier on attractiveness and B tier for character, I guess. Try not to be too disappointed, Joe. Shakti was the OG. She's the most exotic woman I've ever seen. Okay. I but I agree with you two pricks. Yeah, I guess she kind of has resting bitch face, and her tattoos are kind of whack. I don't whack. Think I can tell you one good thing that Shakti ever did. She gave our boys in Domino Squad another chance so they wouldn't become janitors instead of the heroes we know. Okay, cool, but when did she What is this weird noise? 
in the audio. Why is his audio weird? Fifth Lord or do a flip? She never did. A tier? Mm, I can settle on that. Cool, Brock. I'm fine with that. Next is oh boy, Ayla Secura. Mommy. Ayla Secura is amazing. Of course, Twilight, beautiful. So obviously, for attractiveness, it's going to be an A or S tier. Um, but Ayla Secura is one of the few Jedi that uh, actually stood out to being more human than just by the books. I think that's what separated her from a lot of her counterparts, especially on the council. Um, I'm going to give Ayla Secura for character. All I can really do is say that she is a low S tier, even though I can't really name a lot of the feats she did. She did help the, the uh, clone troopers um, on that fucking shitty planet. Uh, she earned their respect. They gave her a quick death because they respected her so much in Order 66. Um, look, if the boys can respect her, I can respect her too. So I'm going to go ahead and give her a low S tier, even though I can't name anything she's done off the top of my head. Um, I personally don't like her accent, but that's whatever. And I don't remember these episodes uh, on the Clone Wars, man. It's been a long time since I've seen uh, these episodes. It's been a long time since I've seen her episodes. I usually rewatch like the same couple episodes. It's the goat. I'm blue. Da ba dee, da ba die. She's thicker than a bowl of oatmeal made with blue milk. What's not the <laughs> What the here? fuck? <laughs> every single measurable category. Plus, she's the only Jedi that I know of that was DTF in canon. The Jedi Council had to issue a warning against her for being too attached to her clones. I think we all. That don't make you DTF because you like your clone. I mean, Anakin was close to his clones. Oh, no, Fucking so Captain Rex is OG. Hundred shots into her during Order sixty six. Incel energy. Also in Legends, her and Kit Fisto had a love story. Really? Oh, she wanted the Fisto, huh? Dude, her Clone Wars CGI model was fucking ridiculous. I want to personally thank Dick. Dave Filoni for pushing the limit and making Ayla into Space Shakira. True, bro. <laughs> just did not lie. Okay, let's not write a book on how hot she is. Let's just put her in her rightful spot. So Kit Fisto and Ayla Sakura have a thing. That's interesting. You know, if the Jedi wasn't so stuck up, I think they could have had a happy fucking relationship. I think a lot of them could have had happy relationships and it probably wouldn't have led to their downfall. I don't know. Anakin is kind of on the edge all the time. So maybe they still he's st honestly, bro, if the council gave him uh, the fucking title of master, they wouldn't have died. He would have got to look at the book. He would have found out Palpatine was bullshit. He would have turned him in. Everything would have went right as rain, bro. <laughs> I was about to bust, and you just ruined it. Hey, yo, what pants. the fuck? You're the leader of the free world. It wouldn't be free anymore if I couldn't. Do you need it? I can say about what the hell's going on with his audio? Down bad. Yeah, I see you. If you don't want some major leak, you've been a campaign. This good. Actually, AFS tier talking about that old lizard. Thank you. Next is Master Luminara. Here Master Luminara is. I don't remember if she had a real character change or development after working with Anakin and uh, Ahsoka, but um, her Padawan did. So maybe that had some effect on her as a master. I can't remember if she did. I remember throughout the whole mission, Anakin was just like, trust the Padawans, trust them, trust them. They can do it. Um, so uh, maybe that did rub off on her. And if that did, I would bump her character slot up like a bit i would say like when we first meet uh, master luminara she's just uh got to do the mission not really stuck up but she was like we got to do it this way we got to do it the right way la di da di da di da so i would have given her honestly like when it comes to character like more like a c tier like okay jedi do the right thing follow the fucking rules blah 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 blah, blah. Um, but if she did get some character development, which I can't remember if she did, I would bump her up to like a low B tier, or a high C tier, because at the end of the day, she is still, um, you know, Master Luminara is still going to be trying to enforce some type of rule set and mindset on not just her Padawan, but her clone troopers below her and everyone around her. Um, Anakin was definitely a good pair because Anakin does what Anakin wants, but Anakin tries to do the right thing. So that's that's where I, I would say is awesome uh, about him. And I can't remember if she tried to let uh, Ahsoka and uh, Barris. 
I think I don't know if she tried to let leave them to die or Barris was just like, oh, we're going to have to die for the for the for the plan or some shit like that. I don't know. Somebody was trying to die. OK, I remember they were trapped in the fucking battle tank or whatever. And somebody wanted to die that day. And Ahsoka saved it. <laughs> That's all I remember. I think Ahsoka say I don't remember. Fuck it. But yeah, Master Luminara. Uh, when it comes to attractiveness, I mean, she's. Uh, she got nice tits. Uh, fucking B tier, low B tier. Yeah, oh, no. <laughs> you can't even see her tits when she's wearing this one. Goddamn hijab. I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> okay, he said me a Khalifa face. He said worse than me. I don't see why not. I don't see why not as well. Because this was back. This is a fucking costume, bro. This is a real person in a costume. This is just C a fucking CGI. You can make this look however the fuck you wanted to. You could have given her a big ass dump truck if you wanted to, right? Um, this is just a human with costume, so I don't think it's it's a real comparison. Um, if we were to compare, like you would say, this one is probably not as attractive as this one. So the picks, obviously. Go for these animated waifus are better anyway. Jesus, <laughs> if it's Luminara Undumpy. Then I'll say S tier. I'm dumpy, I'm so dead. S tier? Black robes. Also, her apprentice Barris has huge tits. Oh, Joe, underage. Oops. That's no fun. Moving on. Next is the bounty hunter, Aura Singh. Yeah. Aura Singh. Aura Singh. She is all right of a character. Manipulative. Um, I don't remember if she really cared for Boba, um, but she no, she didn't care for Boba, right? She tried to fucking. Use him and then throw him away. I think she's a piece of shit. She's scum, but she is a bounty hunter, and that's what bounty hunters are. Uh, Aura Singh as a character, honestly, probably around like C tier. I don't know about D tier because she, you know, she she seems like she's loyal to Boba, and then she's like, nah, fuck that. I'm loyal to myself. So, I mean, it's interesting. She's willing to use people for her own benefits, which is not surprising as. She is a bounty hunter or a space pirate or something like that. Um, so, yeah, I would say like C tier for character, maybe high C tier, maybe. Um, but when it comes to attractiveness, probably more around the uh, B tier, low B tier. Yeah, it's that antenna, bro. What the fuck is going on here? <laughs> I think we need to discuss the fingers first and foremost. And the fingers, too, bro. It's cringe. No <laughs> it's <just> cringe. <laughs> Huh? Any fingers that would make any butthole tremble. Reprehensible. But she is pretty hot other than Bro that. said like reprehensible. Why does that oh, not As Tyrion, you gotta admit it. Cringe. She's Hell no. You know that's gonna be more experienced than the Jedi monks that are supposed Bro, to be. Bro, if she goes in A tier, something is wrong. Alright, it's cool. I do not take this list any more seriously than I did originally. Asajj Ventress. Character wise has gone from being like a more of a C C tier character all the way up to a goddamn S tier, especially in Legends when you read her book when she got with uh what's his name? I don't remember his name. Cool black guy, very strong Jedi, and he left the order to be with her and then fell to the dark side and then came back and da 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 da. But Asajj Ventress even though she shows that she still has like somewhat of a good heart, especially in the end after, you know, she gets away from Dooku and, you know, plots her revenge, blah, 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 you know, goes in the hiding, um, helps Boba Fett, uh, gets attacked by Anakin and tells Anakin the truth that she's not involved, whatever. Um, and not wanting to really try and kill him, but to go live her own life and have her own freedoms. Very respectful. Um, woman and she turns into a loving wife. I believe they got married. I'm not sure. But I want to say for character, absolutely S tier for Assange Ventures. Absolutely S tier. Like no, no, no fucking doubt about it. She is an S tier character. Attractiveness, honestly, bro, she is uh Amber Rose with a little less ass, bro. I will give Assange Ventress a low S tier. God damn. Especially in Legends. Nah, Legends, like, with the books, nah, like, S tier all the way. I think she grew hair. I'm like, I think she grew hair. I'm not, I don't, I don't fucking remember. But yeah, S tier all the way. S tier looks, S tier character development, S tier physique, S tier. Waifu material. Hot bald babes are where it's at. Reminds me of my fling with Brittany. 
during her insane phase. Oh, God. Wow. Filoni added again. Is she a bad thing? Shit. Fine as hell. Whoa. Thick as fuck. Bro, what is with this Obama portrait, bro? Why does shit look like a high school photo except with an old man in it? Oh, my God. That's my baby. Why didn't motherfucker? Oh, Caroline, by the way. What? That's a bump, but let's get back to Ventress. Are we at S tier? Yes. I don't think she's the hottest in the franchise. That's a, a dude. Fuck that. For me, they made her into a tragic hero by the end of the series. It's a crime against humanity that they didn't finish her storyline. There's actually it's a, a book about it. Nobody cares. Oh, okay. <laughs> Obamacare. Obamacare. Senator Chuchi. Ah, uh, she was okay. She ain't do nothing fucking amazing. Um, besides, you know, some politics shit, I guess. Um, Senator Chuchi. For a character, I guess, like fucking C tier. Like she's probably really a B tier character. I doubt A tier, but. I don't remember her doing anything crazy, so that's what I would say. C tier. I just like I said, I don't remember. Maybe she did do something crazy. I just don't remember. Uh, attractiveness. Um, B. <laughs> Good one, Joe. Thanks, Billy. Pretty mid. Yeah, I'm not so high on her as you two. I'd be at A tier though. I'm at bangable. You wish. <laughs> I'm at bangable. Jesus Christ. You're looking than me? I'm just saying you're straight D tier, man. It's actually more generous than Damn. you rated me, so I'll take it. So Damn. On S? Not really, to be honest. S? Fuck no. Trunk. She's flatter than my morning pancakes. A <laughs> tier then? Dude, A tier, dude, you're Goddess crazy. Light, simply known as the daughter. Uh, the daughter is for character. I mean, one note, light side, good stuff, good guy. Stop my brother. Blah 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 blah. Um, fucking. Actually, she's actually crazy. Um, so character. We're gonna go ahead and give her like a shit high B tier, if that. Like honestly, like. B tier, like eh, nothing crazy, like light side, good girl energy. Cool. Um, also crazy attractiveness. Uh, I think it's more of the outfit that's giving her more an attractive vibe. But oh, like this, nothing crazy. I would say like if I saw a girl like this in the streets, I'd be like, girl, what the fuck is going on with your hair? <laughs> but I'd be like, oh, fine. Um, B. B plus. I feel like these simps are gonna give her an S though. S -tier See what I said? All right, let's fast forward. Okay. Oh my God, Madam Towson, Mama Towson, Madam Towson, uh, Madam Towson. Uh, for character, Madam Towson is honest. She's schemy. She was actually somewhat of an issue to um, to Palpatine. So I will give her props on being her own type of villain to get in the way, can raise the dead. Uh, Ventress came to her and. You know, my Mother Towson brought her back. Um, I think Mother Towson as a character. Shit, tortured Dooku. Shit, she was a real thorn in their ass. I'm gonna give her a. Shit, I'm gonna give her like a a low A tier or an eight mid A tier. Like she really was a threat. Um, even though when Dooku showed up, he was pretty much mopping the floor with him. He and he was sick. So like. They were somewhat of an issue. Um, so yeah, I think A tier. High tier, but it's pretty. The spectrum, Mother Towson. I'm into it. I'm shocked. Attractiveness, I ain't with it. I'm gonna give it a C tier uh, or B tier. No, a C tier or D tier. I'm not really, uh, you know, I'm not really enjoying the insane clown posse getup she got I'm going say on. High tier, but it's pretty cringe that a demon is speaking behind her voice. Therefore, it would also. I forgot more. about that. She's kind of a toss up. S tier, if I can take a run at the rest. All right, cool. Uh, who the fuck is this? Next is Mama the Hut. What the fuck? Oh, Jabba's mom. <laughs> Bro, that fucking Louisiana accent is killing me. As a character, she is a. A woman that thinks she's the shit, and when it comes to criminal underworld, she is. But as a lady, not really. Um, character is a fucking D tier. Who cares? Attractiveness is a hut. Who cares? Like it's not even. Who the fuck is this? Luxury droid. Thing is crazy. Okay, we're gonna put a droid on the fucking list that doesn't really do anything besides probably do some translation. It's a sex doll. What the fuck you want from it? First of all, Ahsoka is undeniably hot as. Ahsoka Tano. I, I'm not. 
if, if we're talking about the Ahsoka Tano that I know at the end where she's like, I'm no Jedi against Darth Maul, Order 66 leaves with Rex and then Star Wars Rebels becomes a, a great master, a great uh, teacher for um, Kaden and uh, uh, little bro. I don't remember his fucking name, but I think Ahsoka Tano easily is as tier, like no doubt about it. But I all I saw was her her battle and um, like her two of her episodes in uh, what's it called? The cowboy one, the cowboy Star Wars that came out, the the Mandalorian. And I thought she was cool, but I feel like there wasn't really much to her in the in uh, in the Mandalorian. I think she got some extra shit. I think she has her own show or something, her own book or something with the new uh, actress of Ahsoka Tano. But I didn't see her really do anything outstanding um, besides take on the village. I mean, still S tier, but I want to see more. I mean, can you really can you really develop Ahsoka more? The only thing you can go into is stuff we don't know about, like her love life. Like she was in love with that one guy. Um, like she didn't like him at first. She thought he was a fuck boy. But then she was like coming around to like him. But I think he died or he betrayed them and then died or some shit. I don't know. But he ain't I don't think he's in the picture anymore. And if he is, I don't think they're talking. Um, I think Ahsoka Tano, obviously S tier. Well, when it comes to looks, um, I don't even think it's like just the looks like when it comes to attractiveness to me, like you're going to need more than just looks, honey. Like there's beautiful women all over the place. Um, but like her attitude, the way she rocks her femininity and turns it into a strength. Um, of course the never give up attitude, uh, Anakin basically instilled into her. Um, and at the same time being able to go her own way, very respectable, um, S tier. When it comes to attractiveness as well. Fuck. Perfect body, nice tattoos, sexy face, superhuman agility, the list goes on and on. Hottest chick in the franchise. Easy. Dude, all Jedi have super agility. What the hell? Test tier in the galaxy. A spit facts, Joey. It was literally the biggest bait ever to make Ahsoka Anakin's apprentice in the first place. The council knew what happened with him and Padme. Then they just so happened to ship him the hottest Padawan they had to see if he broke. Ha <laughs> ha. Yoda is a fucking evil mastermind. Good God, I'm sorry, Barack. Next is Barris. Not quite as hot as Barris Offy. Um, she was right. Um, but the way she went about her her plans of setting up Ahsoka, uh, despicable. She couldn't do it on her own. Ugh. Barris Offy, um, as a character, it's really sad to see what happened, especially after the whole fucking worm incident on the ship. But she was technically right. She was right about the Jedi. She was right. Um, it's just the way she did it. She should have just left or just become a great Jedi like Ahsoka did. Instead, she wanted to um, use the dark side to try and confront the Jedi and become stronger and try and save the day. You know, the 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 road to hell is paved with good intentions, and that's Barris Offie in a nutshell. Uh, so character, it's a sad fall. But I don't think that deducts points from her character because she changed just like Ventress changed from being the bad guy to more of a uh, anti good guy. You know, Barris went from a goody two shoe Jedi uh, Padawan uh, to trying to do her own thing. But she just fell on her fucking face. Um, I'm honestly going to have to give Barris for character. I'm going to give her a B tier, like just flat B tier. Honestly, I don't even know if she deserves it. She maybe deserves like more high C tier, but that's just me wanting to be like, oh, you failed at your plan. So you deserve a lower tier. But in all honesty, she just is a B tier character. Um, she's above average because to go from good to bad and wanting to do it in a, in a way that's not I just want more power for power's sake is definitely respectable and commendable. So that's why I would say just flat B tier attractiveness. Ah, it's just cute. B tier, I guess. Thank you. Luminara, but still S tier. She has the biggest rack of any Jedi, and she's still a Padawan. Go off. Bro, what? I'm starting to feel like I want to be picked up early again. Also, I... All right. A little too pumped. Oh. Well, isn't going to let me rank Sabine either, so I'll put her... In Sabine is so fucking cool, dude. I love her in Rebels. She is so cool. Like, I thought she was just going to be a another side character, but she, you know, of course, got... They all got their own arc, except for Chopper and uh the, the Beast guy. I don't think he got an arc, but... 
Um, I wasn't that big in the Rebels. I actually saw Rebels through a live stream that was like the chronological order of Star Wars. Like, so from pe- from prequel all the way to fucking Rebels and uh, Solo, like had the movies. It was on Twitch, but they took it down. Bro, that was my favorite channel. I would walk into that channel all the time and just watch Star Wars shit all day and chat with the chat. That was good shit. But um, Sabine definitely deserves for character. Shit, she knocking on S tier, honestly. Like, I just give it to her. Like, fuck it, Sabine is S tier. Like, she grows, she learns how, she goes from like being this punk kid fucking tagging shit to becoming an actual uh, Mandalorian and becoming a leader at, at one point. I don't know if she's still the leader, but she became the leader at one point, got the dark saber and everything, and had to train to actually become the leader. She got the leadership title due to her blood and her lineage, but to train and become that leader that's what i like and she successfully became that leader helped um kanan and uh why am i forgetting his name he was literally the main character but um helping them out in their time of need coming back uh leaving to become a leader and then coming back i love it sabine is definitely yeah i'd say low s tier man she's knocking on that door she is knocking on that door to be queen um, so I respect it. Uh, attractiveness, I think she's a kid, so let's not even go there. In A tier. Cute, but a little too punk rock for me. I'll agree with that. She's, she's punk know. rock, but that comes down to her being more, um, uh, what's it called? When you're like freedom, but you're young, like that energy. I don't, uh, uh, not aggressive, but you don't know what I'm trying to say. That's, that's her. Disagree with Joe in charge. That's fucking right. I'll That's fucking right. Girl snoodles up into cringe tier. Yeah. What the fuck? Oh, shit, Joe. Damn, how did you unhack my hack? Called Elon. No wonder. <laughs> Elon. Okay, let's fast forward. They're talking a lot. Great mommy vibes. Oh. As I was saying, we're on to the age of the empire again. How about Hera? She's great. Mom. Okay, her name's Hera. Yeah, she is definitely the mom of the group. Like I said, Twi'lek fucking A or S tier, right? But I'm gonna give her A tier. Um, solid woman cares for Kanan, cares for the whole group, honestly. <laughs> Excuse me, cares, cares for the whole group, does the best she can, tries to help mold them into a leadership role. Um, especially for a little guy, I can't remember his name right now, I don't know why. Um, but yeah, uh, Ezra, 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 fuck. I could not remember his name to save my life. But yeah, Ezra, um, she cares after Ezra tried to mold him um, whenever Kanan is being too rough with him. She tries to talk to Kanan like, hey, maybe you should try this, try that. And Kanan's like, oh, the Jedi, whatever, whatever. But he learns how to become a great leader. And uh, Hera is there along the way. She has her character development. She goes against Admiral Thrawn. Um, she's a fucking great girl. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and give her, I'm gonna give her a high A tier because I'm just not attached to her personally to give her S tier because she's basically been fucking solid the whole way. She didn't have no hiccups, at least from what I can remember. She hasn't had no hiccups, bro. She's just been damn near right almost all the time. Maybe she's over caring. Maybe that could be her flaw, but that's not enough. She really does everything damn near perfect on the first go. So I do respect her for that, but there's not much of a development. And that's what I personally like in my characters, a development. And I can't really remember a development with her. She's just always been good, um, good to go. So, I mean, that is respectable to always be on your shit, but I just like seeing growth. So yeah, I would say hi A tier. Her video game appearance in Squadrons was pretty fine. She isn't quite as thick as- Who played teams, Squadrons? Too. Another satisfying Filoni creation, but I didn't really dig the art style compared to Clone Wars. It's a different taste, because I said the same thing, and the chat was like, oh, you just get used to it. It's a different style. And you do get used to it, honestly. Um, the Like the lightsaber being like a little noodle. You don't like it at first, but then when you see it in motion, when you see how fluid it is whenever they're swinging a lightsaber, you're just like, okay, it's a different feel. And then when you go back, like after you watch um, Rebels, like you, you just get used to it, right? But then if you go back to Clone Wars and then you watch a lightsaber battle, you look at the lightsaber more stiff. Like you're just like, they're just whacking each other with hard sticks. Um, but when you watch Rebels, like that shit looks fluid as hell. It, like it looks like, you know, like Katara did um, in Avatar: The Last Airbender, where she turned her, she like took some sword or took some swords or something, and like she turned into like more of a whip. That's what it's like, and I think that's kind of cool, and it makes it stand out 
compare it to Clone Wars. So I'm going to give the art style a fucking pass. Stamp of approval. Star Wars Rebels is fucking goaded. It was her kind heart that was the most attractive to me. So wholesome, bro. Shut up. <laughs> so wholesome, bro. S -tier? I'd be lower for her than most in a. the S tier right now, but I think she fits in there. Sexy for sure. Cool. Okay, Joe, now Ahsoka from Rebels. Yay. Oh, we're, we're breaking them up? Fuck. Okay. Well, I mean, still. Uh, character doesn't change. Uh, sex appeal doesn't change either. Fuck it. Hot, whatever. She's still S tier. It's still Ahsoka. Ahsoka and Hera's mom. In the Bad Batch and Tales of the Jedi recently, how do we feel about uh, Ahsoka and Hera's mom? I haven't seen Bad Batch. I want to. I just don't have Disney Plus, so I haven't seen it. Um, and I feel like I'm being spoiled right now. <laughs> Um, Hera's mom is a Twi'lek. She's an automatic S or A. Damn, she's looking kind of fine though. Like she's very beautiful. Cheekbones, eyes, fucking damn near uh, low S tier, right? I don't know her character, so maybe she's a bad mom, but I doubt it because Hera is so fucking stellar. Um, Ahsoka's mom literally looks like uh, off brand Ahsoka. So fucking A tier, I guess. <laughs> this is awesome. Low A tier. Voice of Pav T, but this time human and in a video game, Iden Versio. Pretty hot Indian. Iden Versio. I mean, but I don't think her character was amazing. Like she switched to the she switched to the good guy side after seeing her own planet start getting attacked. Um, it just like, yeah, you've been working for the bad guys the whole time. Duh, the fuck. Um, but uh, character is like whatever, like B tier, like. Like, I'm glad she did a switch to the good side, but the it's like the reasoning was dumb. It was more like more personal and like your spec ops unit and you don't know what your fucking your the Empire's intentions are. Like, it just, just didn't make sense to me. But I think B tier um, attractiveness. Um, she's beautiful. Fucking high B tier, low A tier, I guess. I like that Battlefront campaign, actually. Be more great game. The, the campaign was okay, like uh, level level wise, but he didn't like it. Characters were like that. Whatever. First, the Jedi Master Bastila Sean. Is this Fennec's great grandma? Uh, Bastila. It's Sean. Bastila. That would be cool. Oh, Bastila. I think Bastila is cool as a character. She, you know, of course, uh, Jedi Order, blah blah blah. But then she like has fun with it. Like, you know, she pretends to be all high and mighty, but she's still a like a fucking brat. She's willing to use her force powers to play pranks, even though she would say, "Oh, I'm too good to do that," and she would do it anyway. So, you know, it's tongue in cheek type of character. I think Bastila is okay. I think she's a, I think she's an A tier, low A tier, maybe mid A tier, but A tier nonetheless. I like her attractiveness. Okay, well, low A tier and high B tier. Okay. Okay. It's weird. <laughs> Joe didn't play this game. So, what do you think, Barack? She's sexy as all hell. Yeah, for sure. Super powerful and super hot. An easy S tier. I'm glad we can agree on her. Okay, now Darth Talon. Hell yeah. Darth Talon. Twilight, sexy, but she's evil, crazy. Um, character, I don't remember doing nothing crazy. Wasn't she um, Darth Malik's apprentice? I believe this is Dark Malik's apprentice, and I believe she gets fucking murdered by Dark Malik. <laughs> if not, then it's by the the then the main character. But um, I don't remember doing anything crazy. And I think for like an evil Twi'lek, she's just gonna be like power, whatever, lust, um, anger, whatever. So attractiveness is not for me. I'm not really in the crazy girls. I've had my fair share of them, and I don't need any more. Uh, so I would give her a. Attractiveness scale of, of course, an A. Well, actually, the tattoos are pretty hot, so I'd be like S tier. But the caveat is you touch her, you're stuck with her forever, or you die. <laughs> so, uh, character, whatever, B. The Darth Maul Tweezlick? I thought she was strictly a creation of pornographic art. Jesus Christ. Hurting that lesbian. Marin. Marin. Marin's cool. I like her as a character. She, you know, was hurt by the Jedi and she had that asshole in her temple for fucking a long ass time. And she still, you know, became close to Cal because Cal was, you know, trusting of her and he was trying to help her. But she is beautiful. Um, I haven't played the new Star Wars uh, whatever, so I don't know if her character development changes or anything like that. It's 1030. I got to leave soon. Um, so we're going to have to rapid fire this shit. Uh, character, character, A tier, uh, 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 sex appeal, uh, 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 low A tier, maybe high B tier. Um, 
Who the, who the fuck is this? She's fine. Jin Erso. Yeah, not as hot as Padme or Leia, but still. Jin Erso? Uh, sounds familiar. I just don't remember. Um, she looks beautiful. Uh, looks like a normal model. I'm uh, gonna give her a low A tier, high B tier character. I just can't remember Jin Erso. That name sounds so familiar. But I just can't put my finger on it. Ray uh, character, honestly, bro, I've only seen one of the the sequels, and I fell asleep, and that was the best one, which was the first one, Rise of the Rise of the Sky. Well, I don't fucking remember. I don't remember what it was called, but the first episode, I fell asleep during the fight scene with Finn, and uh, you know what I'm talking about. I fucking fell asleep uh, during the movie, so that lets you know how good it was, in my opinion. Um, I think Ray is fine, but I don't think she does anything really great when it comes down to character, at least from what I've heard through the internet about how, you know, Luke throws away the lightsaber and then like Ray just learns how to become a fucking fighter, even though her stance is terrible, blah, 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 takes down the dark side, becomes a Palpatine. And then at the end, she says, oh, my name's Ray, Ray Skywalker instead of Palpatine. Um, fucking whatever fucking i would say overall it sounds cool it sounds cool like how ichigo kurosaki is fucking fucking soul reaper hollow quincy full bringer fucking he's all this shit right but he unlocks it like one at a time he unlocks the well rukia gave him the soul reaper one but he unlocks uh, he, he was given full bring too Fuck you. And now his Quincy powers came back. That was just because of his mom. But uh, like a lot of that shit was like fucking. He kind of earned the full bring, but uh, okay, somebody had to help you, bro. Um, but yeah, like it sounds cool, but is it really cool? I don't know. So I'm going to give Ray a for character. I'll give her like a fucking low B tier, high C tier. Um, she It's cool that she has all the shit in her, but she didn't really earn it. It was more like a blood right. And then she got it through the fourth wall she didn't really earn it she didn't train for it um and she did train but she didn't do nothing crazy she wasn't fucking lifting rocks while standing upside down and shit <laughs> but uh attractiveness i mean she's a cute uh, whoever this actress is, at least this photo uh, even though she has a big ass billboard forehead i think she's kind of cute i'm gonna give her like a uh, for cuteness like b um the asian girl that knocked out finn i hear that she did a good job in the movie that she came out in but then like a lot of people didn't like her so like they pretty much put her on the back burner for the other film and that's about it that's all we got um this is not fair this is this is the costume you're pulling out a real life instagram photo this is not fair we're gonna pretend we didn't see that her character, I think, is cool, um, but nothing crazy. I'm going to give her, for character, I'm going to give her, like, a low B tier for attractiveness. Um, I got a thing for Asian women, so that might be uh, cheating a bit. So I might be bumping her up from, like, a... I'm going to give her a B tier. Fuck it. Just going to give her a B tier. Um, this photo is great. It's, like, a high B tier, low A tier. I mean, I've seen better on Instagram. Uh, this is the lady that fucking put the, the ship in uh, warp drive and then, like, blitzed the fucking brigade. Um, they actually did this in uh, Clone Wars. A lot of people didn't know that. But in Clone Wars, uh, not Clone Wars, in Battlefront 2, the original Battlefront 2, um, that was literally what was going to happen. Is it Battlefront 2 or 1? I don't remember. I think it was 2. Yeah, it was 2. Uh, they were going to do this, but the clones actually stopped the, the enemy from warping. So that's why you don't get to see it. Um, so apparently it was an actual tactic, but they were talking as if the clones were going to get obliterated and the ship was going to be fine in Battlefront 2. But her ship was already damaged, so RIP to her. But it's not that crazy of a fucking plot device, whatever. Literally, I get it. More people could just get little ships, put them in warp drive and like take out whole armies. I get it. It, it, it People just don't do it. It is what it is. I think. For character, I did. I I think I saw her slap Han or somebody. She slapped somebody. She slapped somebody, and I was like, "Damn!" But that's about it. All I can remember from her and she her fucking warp drive sacrifice. Um, I don't know really much about her, so I can't really give her a grade for attractiveness from what I'm looking at. Um, more around the high seat here. Like I love her cheekbones. I love her blue eyes. Uh, I'm guessing those are contacts. I don't. I ain't never seen no eyes blue like that before. But um, I love the design. I love the, the neck scarf, whatever. Like, it's fine. It's just like the purple hair is kind of pink, purple, pink. It's just kind of throwing me off. I don't know. It's just it is not for me. I, I met a lot of people with colorful hair and a lot of them have colorful personalities. So 
take that with, with what you want. I'm going to give her a C tier overall. Um, this is the woman that helped uh, the Mandalorian. I think she's cool, badass. Like They had an arm wrestling contest and they fought and Grogu was just like, hey, what's going on, guys? So I think she's cool. I don't remember her name, but she is a badass, can handle a weapon. I love women that can handle weapons. Uh, so with my bias, I'm going to chalk her all the way up to a high B tier, but I can't remember a lot um, I didn't follow the Mandalorian like all the fuck way through because I'm not an episodic guy. I like binging and I just haven't binged the latest shit yet. So um, character wise, whatever, uh, like like I said, like the B tier um, attractiveness. I think she's kind of cute. She's strong. Uh, I'll give her a B tier for strength as well. I have no idea who this is. Uh, looks familiar, like maybe some type of engineer from the, the prequels or the sequels, but I don't remember too well. A Twilight, except this Twilight's looking a little strange. Um, yeah, I don't know who that is. Ah, that's the one that helps um, Boba Fett. She's cool. Um, badass shooter was giving the Mandalorian and the uh, old girl a run for their money. I'm gonna give for giving a Mandalorian a run for his money, bro. That is like an automatic high B tier right there, just just for that feat alone. Um, but I don't know much more about this character, so I can't really give a great attractiveness. I like the scar shows you're a warrior. Um, resting bitch face is kind of cool. Uh, attractiveness. Let's go ahead. Give her a just solid, just like straight B tier or low B tier. It's fine. Fine. I don't know. Oh, this is the mama. Grogu ate all her fucking eggs except for like three of them bitches. That's kind of messed up. Um, mama lizard. Uh, she was just trying to get to her, get her family safe. That's all she wanted. And then this little fucker was eating all her babies. Um, she just wanted to get back to her husband. So ah, uh, that's a loving story, honestly. I'm gonna give it a, like a, I'm gonna give it a low A. That's such a, a a a wholesome loving story, and she's just going through all this bullshit just to get back to her man. I love it. Um, but attractiveness, that's a lizard, bro. That's a no go. Um. Bo-Katan. I love Bo-Katan, uh, honestly, like the badass sister um, that a lot of people don't know is related to the to the royalty because she's like, I'm hiding my royalty status so I can do some cool bounty hunter shit that um, I don't want to be royalty. I want to be the, the, the tomboy, the badass, the queen. And she actually becomes the queen. So I like Bo-Katan's character. Um, I love uh, that she took out uh, Dark Watch. She was not afraid to go to the Jedi for help. Um, a lot of Mandalorians were just like, ah, we don't need a Jedi, blah, blah, blah. We're a fucking neutral country, whatever. Um, but that led to corruption in Darth Maul and yada, 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 yada. So Bo-Katan, for me personally, gets like a high A tier. Um, I wouldn't give her necessarily S tier, even though I personally would say S tier. I just don't really see her overall being like S tier for like majority of people probably wouldn't say Bo-Katan Bo is S tier, but maybe they would. I don't know. She does a lot. She helps the Mandalorian. She breaks him out of jail and they go fight and they're fighting off fucking super battle droids. And then Luke Skywalker comes in. <sighs> fucking awesome character, man. Like I'm saying, me personally, I'll be like, man, S tier all the way. But overall, probably more like high A tier. Shit, I really want to say low S tier. That's just me though. Um, attractiveness. I love her ginger hair. Um, I don't know what what is with me and ginger woman women, but uh, yeah, attractiveness for me like a low A tier overall solid. Uh, this is the other girl that helped Bo Katan. I don't know her name. I don't know what she does besides help fight super battle droids. Um, I don't know. She looks kind of cute. I don't know why she's eating a worm, but hey, it's it's a, a long, long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. So you, the worm probably delicious. Uh, attractiveness. Ah, oh, she's really cute. I like her. Uh, she looks really like beautiful. I'm gonna give her like a attractiveness, bro. And she's a fighter, bro. That's an A tier. Fuck it. I like women that can fight. Um, Ahsoka, like this one. This Ahsoka. I don't know much about her. I like how she has the uh, white lightsabers. Um, to show that she's more of a neutral zone, does her own thing, but still helps people. Um, but I don't know what she does. I don't know what she does. I have to like catch up, man. I'm behind on Star like, As much as I love Star Wars, I'm behind on that. I have no idea who this is, and I didn't even think about a female Tuscan Raider. I think a female Tuscan Raider would be fucking terrible. Uh, maybe be a loyal girlfriend, but she'd be, uh, 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 fuck that. Nah, dude, fucking F tier, throw it away. Don't know who this is. 
I don't know who this is. Like I said, Twilight's are A or S tier. She's definitely around uh, A plus tier, maybe low S tier. Uh, Twilight's, like I said, A or S tier. This one's looking a little weird, more like around like high B tier. Oh, fucking no. I, I, that's not a girl. If it is, I'm sorry. <laughs> Carrie Fisher. Carrie Fisher, amazing. What is, what is, oh, they're moving them around? Okay, they're moving them around. Okay, they're moving around and debating. I gotta go. I have an actual uh, birthday party to get to like 20 minutes from now, and it's like a 20 minute drive. So I'll see you guys next time. Hope you enjoy. Bye bye.